Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress with me, Tivek. We left off last time by uh, designating these stockpiles down here with uh, some lemonite in the one there and uh, let's see, it was lignite. We put the bars for the coal and for the iron, I believe. We will be expanding these uh, stockpiles and uh, we will start looking for flux stone so we can make steel. I'll probably put that uh, storage room up there so it's close to the to the fortress which will be here I think. I'm not sure I might put them on this one. We'll see. Anyhow let's get started and see what's going on. Uh, we have no shortage of anything at the moment but uh, this is our seed stockpile and this is our plants. Drinks are looking good and uh, food is all right. Let's see what we have in these barrels. We got nothing, some dog kidney and nothing and all right we do need some food. So we're gonna make a kitchen I believe. We have uh, AO rice ball is our cook, so we're gonna start up the kitchen by building it. Um, no, not a clothier kitchen. Let's see, we'll put it up here, as I thought uh, would be a fitting place. We'll build it out of shale, so it's easy and cheap. We might want also to build, let's see, a butcher. Am I blind? There we go, butcher for when we start butchering animals. It's not gonna be built now, it'll sit there for a while. And I'm also gonna build a fishery since uh, we are going to have a fisher dwarf. If I'm not wrong, yes, we have actually two of you who want to be fish dwarfs. I'll try to do my best to get you uh, both uh, as fisher dwarfs, but it depends on the migration waves. All right, um, as you remember last time we added these, uh, this designation here. I am going to start digging these out today and uh, we're gonna start by going down this main shaft in the middle here, this one here, and go down for a while to see if we hit caves. So let's start and see what happens. And uh, my miners stopped working. Oh, they are eating, of course. Our soldier cannot follow order. Why? Why can't they follow order? Okay, all right, there we go. Now they can. Organize striking, wait for striking demonstration. Let's see if they actually do something. We've started moving the rock out of this one. Good. All right, he's leading there and is watching, so they should be. He's a dabbling observer, and a dabbling student. That's good. Is this one a good teacher? Well, dabbling teacher. That's good. Well, getting there. Oh, we have the kitchen ready. But do we have any eggs? Yes. I'm going to lock the doors for this room. There we go. Then make a food stockpile here. That food stockpile will only accept eggs. That way whenever I need eggs I can just open up the door and they will go pick them up. Let's see. They are making tables. Although these guys are dumping stuff, so they're not actually working. Our expedition leader, who's also the mason, is uh, storing item. Oh yeah, he's uh, doing that. I th think actually I'm gonna take him off of hauling for a while. There we go. So he can finish up the stonework. All right, the miners seem to be done. Yeah, they went all the way down. They didn't hit caves, so we'll 
dig a bit further down. We'll go by that to start. What do we have here? We have Gabro, Schist, really nothing of any value. I would like to see marble. I believe there is some on this map at some area. No, we'll dig further down. I think we're gonna breach the caves. We can just wall them up and close them off. That's uh, a good plan. I don't want any invasions from down below right now. It's gonna be hard enough to keep this fortress going without invaders from the depth. Alright, still nothing, so we'll keep going. As you might see, I've set the uh, layers between the caves quite high to give more building space. Uh, this is so that we can make sure that we build a nice fortress first. We'll build another few down here and see what happens. We have Diorite, that's not a flux stone. Oh, you see this? This is marble. This area here, I'm going to make a mine, I think. Oh, we have migrants. Let's see how many we get. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five of you. Six. Nice. And we got some animals as well. I can spot a yak, a goat kid, and a keet. I have no idea what that is. Let's see. A small ground dwelling bird. Alright. Fair enough. Let's see what we got. We got. I'm gonna do like this and then gonna move the dwarf therapist window up. We have Oh yeah, it's got an unknown skill. I think that is a bug with the with um with this version of dwarf therapist. So I am gonna give uh, give those of you who wanted axe dwarfs, I'm gonna give you a spot into the military now. However, I don't have any axes yet, so we'll see. And we don't seem to have any axe dwarfs, but we have another mace dwarf. And uh, this one is very trusting. Reserved on rarely feel strong cravings. No, we're gonna have someone who's a bit more tense and jittery. Neros wanted antisocial female. Hmm. But that one, no. Sad and dejected. That might be interesting. But trusting, so. Mm, we'll see. Very trusting. This here might be a good military dwarf, and I'm actually gonna use this one. So that's gonna be RC Spitfire. So, RC Spitfire, welcome to the Let's Play. What skills do you have in addition? No, oh, nothing much. You're a clothes maker. Yeah, we're not gonna use you for that, don't worry. You're not gonna be making clothes. At least not for now. There we go. Um, this one is a rebellious one. Hmm. Yeah, this might actually work for you, Naris. Well, quite honest, but defies uh, quite depressed. Is that trusting, though? Hmm. Let me know what you want uh, in a comment, and I'll remember the name of this one, alright? Just gonna note it down. Saxul Nilesalath. There we go. Alright, what else do we have? This one is gonna be our first smith. 
Oh yes, that is a smith all through. I'm gonna make this one a smith so I know. Hey, so glassmaker. Did we have sand? There, let's see. We have, if we have sand, we have sand everywhere. That's good. Let's set that one to be the glassmaker. Glassmaker. Well, that's already his profession. All right. Um, we have a stone crafter, so we can take our mason off of that now. So that's all good with me. You there, what can you do? Okay, you're gonna be military. Definitely, definitely. So we have three. Whoa, look at that strength. Yeah, we got three dwarves for the military. I'm sorry, Arsy Spitfire, but you're not very tough. But we're gonna fix that with good armor in the future, alright? I'm gonna make you two soldier. And same for these two, so I can find them easily. Alright. What do we have more? You have This one can double a bit as a wound dresser, but otherwise I think we're good. Alright. I'm gonna let these work a little bit, but then we have to... The tables are getting done good. Alright, uh, what was I doing? We're down here digging. Yes. This is gonna be... This is gonna be a mine. So that we can get nice flux stone for our steel production. This is very good. There we go. They're gonna dig out that first square before I do anything. Let's go and fix the military, shall we? The sizzling ships is gonna get some more soldiers. Adil? Ossust Feb. Something. Something. And... Uh, let's see. Didn't I add another one? Oh, yeah. Arsy Spitfire. Sorry. <laughs> um, your equipment was a Warhammer. But since uh, RC Spitfire asked for one with Axis, I'm gonna give him Axis. There we go. There you go, Axis. This one, I'm also gonna make an Axe Dwarf. So we have two Warhammers, two Axes, and all metal armor. Alright. Let's see we have our recruits here. Did he just carry a stone over? Huh. It looked like it. Oh well. Did you get a weapon? No, you don't have a weapon. So you'll be doing dodging and stuff like that and biting. Never underestimate biting though. It's We've seen it to be quite effective. Alright. So we now Oh, we found the caves. Well, let's see now. We gotta have to wall this up. Yeah. You can't take that one out. And we can't take that out. And we can't dig that out. Also gonna narrow this one down. And we're gonna build a wall, and this is something the mason has to get done immediately. And I'm gonna use the <laughs> wall hack, I don't know, suspended wall hack to make sure that they stay at the right position. Alright, let's see. Is he building? No. Um, I'm gonna suspend these tables. And we're gonna go down to this level here. Oh look, we're close to cutting through the caves all the way through. There we go. We're now safe. Good. But look, this is a nice flat area. We might actually do some farming and uh, this might be a good place to get trees in the future. Alright. Good. Perfect. We'll have uh, them dig this and that one out. 
And since this is a very open area, let's just dig that one out as well. Gonna keep our dwarves happy. Digging, digging. Unsuspend these ones, and um, oh yeah, we got more uh, dwarves. So, do we have any empty rooms? Yes, one, two, three, four empty rooms. But we have 13 dwarves, so let's make another set here of doors. We need, uh, let's see, yeah, I built the doors for this one. We need nine doors, nine beds, nine covers, and nine cabinets. We'll start with the beds. And uh, the doors. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. We should probably build a trades depot up here because soon we will be getting a caravan. So, did we have an architect? Yes, we did. That's our mason. He's going to be busy, but all right. So, let's see. I'm going to tick off RC Spitfire on my list of people who want into the Let's Play. And uh, we did get an engraver, but... Uh, um, yeah, Naros, I'm going to steal this one for Cavians, uh, uh, who wants an engraver called Dak. Kassazir. Like that, I think. Yes. And welcome to the Let's Play. You're now the Fort's Engraver. You will probably be the Master Engraver as time goes. We also want a uh, Crafts Dwarf. You know what, Nerus? I'm just gonna make sure that you're put in here. Let's see. You wanted an axe dwarf, so we'll make it uh, that guy here. Neros. There we go. And we want a craft dwarf. Let's see. We can take the. Stone crafter, sure. That can be Nixalinth for Raven03. Welcome to the Let's Play. We don't have a Fisher Dwarf yet. The Glassmaker I'm going to keep as a Glassmaker. And we don't have a Cheese Maker, but we do have another military. Dwarf. Let's see. Whoa, I'm letting the game run here. That's not good. What has happened? Not much. Alright. Let's check on this one. Uh, not that, but that guy can be... We have Amuriku123 who wanted one called Broseidon. Broseidon? Broseidon. Welcome to the Let's Play. That leaves three of you who want uh, to be added to the Let's Play. Uh, I need a Fisher Dwarf and another Fisher Dwarf or Chief Medical or uh, Animal Trainer. We'll probably get that on the next Im uh, Immigrant Wave. Also, we have uh, a Crazy Cheese Maker who wants to be the Pylord. We'll see when you get added. Next Wave, probably. Right. Do we have any one of these who might actually be good for record keeping? Our glass maker is, and I'm not going to be using him yet. So, our record keeper is going to be him. He's got novice record keeping. There we go. He wants an office. We can arrange that. You can actually have this chair. Um, that one, yes. Make it like that big, and we'll add it to him. 
we go. And he's going to be very busy now until we can replace him because I want him to get the highest precision so we know how much we have. What's the woodcutter doing? Hmm, storing items. And we got a nice little pile of marble here and some gems. Aquamarines, nice. Okay, breaching the caves means that we will soon get interesting growth in our area here. As you can see now, we'll soon have trees growing in the in the walkways. It's not bad, but it's not great. I think it gets a bit cluttering. All right, the yak and the goat and the keet, I think uh, no, that's a bird. They don't uh, need it, but the goat and the yak can go up there. All right. I'm going to let the stone crafter start working. I'm going to make crafts, mugs. Oh, actually not mugs. They're a pain. They're great. You get a lot of them, but they're a pain to trade. Oh, well. We'll put them in. We're going to make toys and pots. We need pots. And we're going to put that on repeat because we're going to need a lot of it. How's it going with our furniture? The doors are almost done, and the tables are. Nice. Let's put them here. How many did I make? 13. That's an odd number. Yeah, I figured. There's one waiting there. Let me just put it into the... 15. Did I make 16 of them? Hmm. Seems like that. All right, 16. Now, oh, I wonder. I got space in that direction, so I'm going to make it. Hmm. No, we'll make it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm going to make it. like that, and another row, like that. We need to make 18 tables, sorry, chairs as well, thrones. Nine there, and we're going to wait for him to make the doors. We can actually start this out, I think. If they can just dump these last few. Yeah. They're gonna be doing that for quite a while, I think. Let's... And our miners aren't digging anything. Uh, should I have them start with this maybe. Yeah. Let's have them start with this. It'll be a nice long digging venture for them. And uh, we get them skilled up nice. Uh, we already have one of them up at 15. Also, the military is going to go into inactive so they can actually rest a little bit because uh, I can see that one of them is starting to get a bit upset. Let's see, and he's digging this out. I'm not going to start with the reservoirs this episode, because that's going to take quite a lot of digging. Because we need to dig one floor at a time, as you can see I've channeled out here in the middle. And then we're going to go down and we're going to channel this, and then we're going to channel that, and that, and then that, all the way down like that until we hit this floor here. Because that will be our drain area where all the spare water goes out. We're going to lead that in some direction. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm middle of the map. Well, we'll just lead it off the map somewhere. Or into the caves, we'll see. Might actually have to drop it into the caves. Where would that end up though? If I make it go here and then pour out, although I don't know if this leads all the way to the 
to the end of the map, so it might overflow the caves, and we don't want that because I want to use these caves. Right. See, he's not doing anything. Yeah, they're storing items in stockpiles. It's probably this, yeah. We're gonna remove the dump of that. Oh, you know what this means. We're gonna have you carve that one out and grave that one. Congratulations, Dakazir. Dakasasir, I mean. Uh, you will be doing the dangerous work of clearing out that wall so we can get some lava in here. And there we go, the fortifications. I'm gonna lose one iron and a gemstone. Jasper. And some limonite. So let's just forbid these. I don't want anyone down here. Let's see, the engraver is storing something. Is he coming? No. Where is he? He's there. He's oh, he's got some lignite with him. And he put it in the room there. And here he comes, I think. Yep. Ready. I'm gonna pause it here once it goes through. Oh dear. Oh, he went straight up. Smart move. Perfect. We're gonna cut these walls like that, because I see that they're moving very slowly through the area. We don't want that. Let's see. We need a magma smelter. I'm gonna put that one um yeah we're gonna put it up in the corner there no we're gonna put it down there and uh, we need a glass furnace and uh, eh, we can have a kiln I don't think I will need it immediately but we'll see also we need a magma forge yeah, I thought it was like that. So I'm gonna put the forge there. One anvil. I'm gonna use marble. Flux stone, yay. And we are going to dig out a little area here as well. Yeah, like that. And uh, this is gonna be our flux stone storage and steel storage, although we can probably put uh, the coal and iron bars in there and then put steel up here. Oh, we need pig iron as well. Like so. Alright people, I think that is enough for this episode gonna try and upload a bit more of them but uh, it takes a fair deal of time so I'm gonna make another episode for you and have it up soon so don't worry and uh, next time we are going to let's see we're gonna expand our bedrooms down here and we will make these bedrooms up here ready because uh, if we do, the migration waves will be bigger and we need more dwarves. A lot of dwarves means a lot of production and uh, a lot of military. Once uh, the smelter and uh, forge is up, we're gonna smelt some iron. We have everything we need to make steel, so we'll make a couple of pig iron, make a couple of steel battle axes for you axe dwarves here. Before you go grab another weapon, although you shouldn't when I've told you not to. But you know how dwarves are. Alright people, see you next time and uh, please comment, uh, like and subscribe and uh, for those of you who are 
joining us now, just uh, let me know if you want a dwarf in the Let's Play, and I will put in at the first time I can. Have a nice day. Bye.